Welcome once again to Chaos Pony, the official podcast of The Order of the Pony. This is episode nine. I am Jason Steele here with uh, Robert Benfer. Robert Benfer! And Christoflor Alex. Christoflor Alex! <laughs> you don't sound very good right now, Jason. No, I, uh, <laughs> I have a disease that Robert gave me while he was down. <laughs> I as well have a disease that Robert gave me while he was down. I think everyone on Playlist Live got Robert's cold. Yeah, the person, even the person who ran the event ended up getting my cold. Yeah, it's because Jack Robert, Robert has terrible cold etiquette. He uh, he doesn't cover his mouth. He breathes on people. I breathe on people a he lot. He sneezes on people. He's terrible. Uh, Robert, you just you need to learn some basic basic hygiene back. That something you would learn in elementary school. Every yeah. time, every time he visits, he's sick, and every time he comes down, I get sick because he's sick. I thought I was actually going to be okay because as you guys were there getting, there's no sick, escape. Yeah, it, it hit me a couple days later. There was no escape. I got a fever. I got a sore throat. Like, it works out for me because I'm feeling great. So all like the major YouTubers right now are probably really sick right now because of me. Yeah. So this is my window. This is so a very diabolical up. I gotta, plan. This I got to release something ploy. great. I, uh, yeah. <laughs> I've taken about a quart of Dayquil. So I'm a- <laughs> does Dayquil work pretty good? I, I've been using Mucinex. Uh, I've been, I don't know. I don't know if it's working. I don't think. I don't think I it's actually of, done anything except for make me very, uh, just a bit loopy. Yeah, I've been. Uh, I've been pretty <laughs> lethargic. Oh, no. It's just I've been like laying around, just sitting there watching TV. I'm not lethargic. Uh, I've just been thinking about ocelots. <laughs> ocelots. Well, I've been ocelots, feeling great. The most majestic <laughs> of the cats. Robert went for a jog this morning. I think I did. <laughs> uh, I am so. I am so out of it right now. <laughs> I'm yeah. sorry, man. I didn't. This will be an this interesting ha- podcast. This, this happens every time. I'm a show terrible up. man. The first day I'm in New York, I mean, the first day I'm in Orlando, I'm like, oh, I'm starting to feel that that pain in my throat. Like I'm going to have a sore throat soon. Oh, if yeah. the next Joseph morning I wake Stalin up, Stalin got into claymation. He would be Robert Benfer. <laughs> <laughs> Robert oh. Benfer is the Stalin of the claymation world. I'm sorry I got you guys sick. <laughs> Megan oh, Robert, making him feel real bad. I'm Actually, sorry, he, man. he probably doesn't feel bad. No, Robert has no soul. <laughs> no, I don't feel bad. He has no compassion for you guys are assholes. For well, I guess if I could look at the positive, if I could look at the positive side, Robert has allowed my immune system to fight this thing off, so it, it'll be stronger for the next time he comes down. My immune system seems stronger because I was only sick for one day. I don't know what's wrong with you guys. Well, I got sick a couple days after, so I had. Uh, I was sick. I had one day where I was like really like ah, and then the next day I was like, hey, I'm, I'm pretty good. <laughs> well, Jennifer is uh, just starting to get a little bit better. Man, you guys are wusses. Yeah, well, you know we're used to our Florida Florida atmosphere and everything. We don't have that you're Texas not, crap over here. You know, you're not used to our. Uh, we're used to oil refineries. You know, all that crap over there. We're used yeah, to the good old beach to my, weather. Uh, if I had an ocelot, oil. I would name him Bill. And Bill and I. <laughs> We would have a wonderful time. Oh, we would go to the park. We would play around. I would throw a fit frisbee to Bill the ocelot. He would catch it in his majestic ocelot mouth. We should just drink cold medicine before each episode. <laughs> have you seen ocelot? Everyone needs to Google ocelots right now. They are the grandest I you, of cats. I think you actually showed me a picture of them once when I was up there. Yes. There's the ones with the big old eyes. Yeah, they have they have pretty big. Maj- that's how you know. That's how you know Jason likes you when he starts Majestic showing you pictures is of the ocelots. Word that I would use to describe every aspect of the ocelot. Oh, they look like little cheetahs. Yeah. Is it is ocelot the topic of the week? No. No. Well, no. why are we that. looking up an ocelot? Everyone should look up ocelot right now. <laughs> oh man, I want an ocelot so bad. I don't think you want <laughs> one of those. They look kind of mean. Oh. Well, I know what to get you next year. If I take another quart of Dayquil, I think I can probably see an ocelot. <laughs> <laughs> I think I probably can. Speaking of which, it's great to watch Bollywood movies when you've taken a quart of Dayquil. <laughs> I, uh, I, I, I was watching Action Replay, which is the Bollywood version of Back to the Future. <laughs> oh yeah, I saw that when I was is there. That, is that Superstar Regini's movie? No, he's not in this movie. What? He is not in this. He's I not refuse in every, to see that movie then. He's not in every film from India. Well, I mean, the way you were talking about it made it sound like he was in almost every single film. No, he's been in a lot. He's been in like 150, but he was oh my in God. action replay. Gets a lot of work. 
Oh well, yeah, I mean he's he's superstar. Obviously, <laughs> superstar always gets work. I'm gonna change my name to Superstar. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. I'm gonna yeah. change my super, uh, name to Superstar Benfer. <laughs> Have you guys heard about uh, name days in the Czech Republic? I don't no. believe so. Oh my god! Did you know in the Czech Republic, every single day of the year, except for major national holidays, corresponds to a personal name. Really? I'm going to send y'all a link. Look at this. What? Look at this. Name days in the Czech Republic. Like, for instance, my birthday, February 7th, is uh, Veronica. So Veronica, every Veronica in the Czech Republic celebrates their own name day. In fact, most people end up, the majority of people have uh, have their name uh, based on a, a name that's a name day. Because, really? so my na- because if my they name don't, day then they don't be... get to celebrate a name day. Uh, I can't even pronounce my name, D. <laughs> what, what, when is your birthday, Milo, Robert? Milo, Milo Slav. <laughs> Milo Slav. Mine's on February 8th. It's uh, Malada. 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 Where is, uh, is there like a Chris on a different day or something like that? Or they probably don't have the name Chris in Russia. <laughs> That's a good old-fashioned American name. <laughs> in Russia. <laughs> what about Bill? <laughs> so, Wait, what, so what part Bill of the Czech here? Republic? Oh, I thought you said... Excuse me, I'm on cold medicine. I thought you said Russia. <laughs> no, I, I, Bill. The, the article says... I'm not, looking you, at, I'm not looking at the article. I'm just looking at the names. It's the it's a huge title. These are some goofy names. I so check, out June, check out June 6th. It's I wonder if there's any, uh, any ocelots in the Czech Republic. <laughs> Isn't I this the so. topic of the week? Every nation needs ocelots. No, this is not the topic of the week. I just thought... This <laughs> you just thought... <laughs> You just wanted to show us this. Oh, there's there's Robert. It's on uh, April oh, 29th. Really? Yeah, April there's 29th Robert. is Robert. <laughs> uh, yeah, what do you know? Have you seen Jim uh, Ether's I Love Dogs ring? I Love Dogs? I'm sending you another link. This is a, <laughs> this is a ring Jim Ether made. It's Let's the talk about I stuff Love that... jo- Dogs unique gift ring. That's a hell of a ring. It's this giant. <laughs> it's the size of a cake. It's like it's like a foot tall, and it has all of these little plastic dogs pasted around it. Let's talk amazing. about things that our listeners can't see. I'm gonna put all these links in the show notes. So, oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy one of these. Yeah, this, it's forty four. It's only forty four dollars and eleven cents. <laughs> I, I, I want to know how that pricing came about. <laughs> this thing is great. Yeah, it's a, his description. Oh, is, his description is the best though. Here are a few weeks, this selection here, you yourself. I like dogs ring. I like dogs should be. So I'm sure you need this ring to share my dog and love together. Dog ring is made of washable plastic and high quality Vietnamese cardboard. Each dog is a solid part of the dog show. Rough, rough, ha ha. <laughs> you will be the talk of the town when you wear this ring dinner or breakfast. The world will see you smile. The sun will warm you. Do not miss this. I like dogs. Affected your chance to express themselves is unique. In your first uh, block has the I like dogs ring. It sounds like he's on some uh, cold medicine as well. <laughs> I think he's always this on cold the medicine. Best. This this I, Everyone Jimmy listening to this needs to check out the I love dogs ring. I think it's, I think it's huge. <laughs> I want this so bad. I want this so bad. There's there's only one available. Well, yes, it's it's a one of a kind <laughs> item. The I love dogs ring. Uh, I wonder if he'll make an I love this ocelots is, ring. This is a treat. I want I want the I love ocelots rings to be. I'm made. gonna buy I'm gonna buy you a I love dogs. Thank you, Robert. Unique gift Thank ring. You. Jason, you say you say you say you want the I love ocelots ring now, but wait until you start feeling better. You're not gonna know what you're thinking. No, I I'm gonna it. want this. <laughs> <laughs> no matter how much they quill I'm on. You're going to be listening to this episode like, oh, this is stupid. <laughs> what was I doing? Well, of course it's stupid. I don't want any ocelots. Of course it's stupid. <laughs> but it's beautiful. It's what beautiful, the... Robert. I oh, like drunk. A... I like drunk Jason. Oh, okay. I was looking at, I was looking at some of the this other is... side pictures. Obviously, the one looks like it's photoshopped in front of like a hoarder's house. <laughs> yes. The whole description is hilarious. <laughs> what the hell is this? Ah, oh, man, I gotta get one of these rings. I I can honestly say I don't need this. I'm gonna get you one, Chris. 
That's all right. You could just you could just send me the forty four dollars and eleven cents in the mail. I appreciate that more. All right, as long as you're going to use it for a I love dogs ring. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> then you uh, don't get no money. <laughs> we should probably get to the topic of this week. This is very important. yeah. We've already discussed several topics. The topic of the week is fourteen points. What? Oh, what? 14 points is a uh, speech delivered by United States President Woodrow Wilson to a joint session of Congress on January 8th, 1918. The address was intended to assure the country that the Great War was being fought for a moral cause and for post-war peace in Europe. Well, there you go. 14 points. And look at this. There's a... There's a summary of the 14 points here. Number one, there should be an end to all secret diplomacy among countries. That, that didn't happen. No. Uh, number two, freedom of the seas in peace and war. Uh, absolute freedom of navigation upon the seas outside territorial waters, alike in peace and war, except as uh, the seas may be closed in whole or in part by international action for the enforcement of international c- covenants. So uh, his, he wanted the seas to be free. That, that, that's, that's pretty much happened. The except seas are free. Pirates. Except for those damn pirates. Except for the, except for the pirates and the... Uh, Goddamn. Goddamn pirates, I wonder man. if pirates have ocelots. I wonder if that's like no, a, I don't think they do. It, I think those are that's a animals. modern pi- pirate animal? Pir- pirates don't have if ocelots, If I was a pirate, Jason. I would keep an ocelot on my boat. Why or, wouldn't you be the pirate with a parrot? Every pirate has to have every, a parrot. No, just, every, be a normal, no. just be a no. normal pirate. Just be a normal <laughs> pirate, three, Jason. The reduction of trade barriers among nations. Well, that's kind of happened and not happened. For the general reduction of ar- ar- armaments. 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 Ar- Armaments. Armaments. Yeah, there you go. Take <laughs> <laughs> Quill Jason cannot read. <laughs> can you, can you, you need to take a nap, Jason. Man, this guy did not predict the nuclear bomb. There was not been a reduction of armaments. <laughs> did he did he predict nine eleven? Number five, the adjustment of colonial <laughs> claims in the interest of the inhabitants as well as the uh, colonial powers. Okay. Uh yeah, I mean that's that's <laughs> I feel like I'm back in school again. I, I, I'm, I'm like daydreaming. Yeah, this is, this <laughs> I think is back, I think this Jason is back is when too. like uh, it's back when there was the British Empire, where where India and and Canada and, and everyone was was under British rule. Uh, number f- six: the evacuation of Russian territory uh, and a welcome for its government to the Society of Nations. Welcome Russia to the Society of Nations. <laughs> I'm going to say that to everyone I meet now. Welcome to the Society of Nations. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not. Isn't that the UN? The Would the UN be a Society of Nations? Sure. Number seven, the restoration of Belgium. <laughs> that is important. I'm glad they restored Belgium. Belgium's great. <laughs> <laughs> they, got, they got some awesome... Some awesome pancakes. No, the Belgian waffles. Man, waffles? everyone talks about the waffles. People like the waffles. I was thinking right? about saying that, what about, but then what about everyone their, says uh, waffles. But I, I remember Belgian pancakes are also quite tasty. Are they? Are Belgian, they good at? Uh, what about what about Belgian fish sticks? Number eight: the evacuation <laughs> of all French territory, including. Oh my God! I, the Alsace Lorraine. Uh, number nine: the readjustment of Italian boundaries along clearly recognizable lines of nationality. Oh, okay. Clearly recognizable lines. They draw. They draw lines on the ground, right? Like like that. The Alamo. <laughs> the readjustment the Alamo. of Italian. What is this? Independence. That's weird. Uh, number ten. Independence for na- uh, various national groups in Austria-Hungary. Yeah. Yeah, baby. That led to the Holocaust, I think. <laughs> Good job, <laughs> Woodrow <we'll> Wilson. <laughs> Man. Bad, bad move there, Woodrow. <laughs> uh, number 11, the restoration of the uh, Balkan nations and free access to the sea for Serbia. You may have free access to the sea. Everybody else Serbia. will pay a nickel. Number 12, protection for minorities in Turkey and the free passage of the ships of all nations through the... Ah, all these words. Dardanelles? <laughs> Dardanelles. Welcome to my world. Number 13, independence for Poland, including <laughs> access to the sea. That did not work out well. Poland uh, kind of lost their independence for a little bit. <laughs> just just a little bit. <laughs> Woodrow was trying to help out Poland, but uh, 
Uh, there were yeah. terrible things to come. There were terrible Terrible. things to come. Uh, And the final final of the 14 points. A League of Nations to protect mutual guarantees of political independence and territorial integrity to great and small nations alike. Great speech, Woodrow. (laughs) This is great. Bravo. So those are the 14 points. Those are the 14 points. (laughs) Oh my god, Woodrow was awarded the 1919 Nobel Peace Prize for his peacemaking efforts. Really? That was almost a right. hundred years ago. Wow. No, wait. Yeah, nah. it was almost a hundred years ago. Yeah, pretty darn yeah. close. Like 90, 91 days, 91 years ago. Math. Uh, uh, yeah. Robert does <laughs> math. <laughs> <laughs> da, 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 ba, da, da. Never, uh, His name <laughs> oh. is Robert, and he does da, some da, math da. on the podcast, but he doesn't do it anymore because it took too much work. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I didn't feel like I didn't feel like doing math every week, so I I stopped. His name is Robert, I'm and <laughs> when he goes to sleep tonight, an ocelot's going to come into his room and nibble uh, away at his soul. Da, no, da, that's da, not that's, that's not you talking. Ocelots do. That's not you talking. That's drunk Jason talking. <laughs> is this what drunk Jason's like? This is probably what Jason. I've never dr- drunk in my life, but this is probably what drunk <laughs> Talking about, <laughs> talk about ocelots and the fourteen points. Yeah, this is what drunk and, Jason uh, would probably be like. <laughs> We should all we should all drink uh, one episode. Well, I, I don't drink, so well, you I can, don't drink you can drink your Dayquil, and then uh... <laughs> yeah, I can just I'll, I'll chug a bunch of Dayquil, do Dayquil yeah. shots. <laughs> I, had, I had a glass of wine at a at playlist at the VIP party, but I had to stop because I was starting to feel kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the way my body's feeling. <laughs> like I I don't want to get drunk. <laughs> Started feeling kind of weird, but I stopped. Only had a beer because. Uh, I think we got screwed up on our free drink tickets. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, so I only had one one free drink, and I was going to pay seven bucks for another beer. Rick, you, you didn't get any tickets. No, yeah, I didn't get any and tickets. I, I got two, in. but I don't drink, so I went back to exchange them for the non-alcoholic drink tickets. And yeah, because you gave me your tickets, and I had to come back, and we had to trade those in. Yeah, but then we ended up with one ticket instead of four that we were supposed to have. Yeah, it was such a mess. <laughs> I was so disappointed about that. Just give us one card. Give us one ticket. Yeah, I think I gave my other one to Jack and Dean. Yeah, yeah I, gave, I gave my wristband to them. <laughs> yeah. I think they ended up getting illegally drunk. Yes. Well, see, they're they're allowed to drink. Uh, see, they yeah, the, they're, they're, they're 18. nineteen, and the uh, legal drinking age in England is eighteen. So they were they were okay. <laughs> but that's so all I right. shouldn't be talking. I'm about. not admitting. I think my I think my wristband fell off at one point during the night, and I couldn't find it. So. I directly and intentionally gave it to them for the purpose <laughs> yeah, of having, having alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like I'm, here. Here's the thing. There's something called responsible drinking, and they didn't have a car there. There was no possible way they could drive anywhere, and they're old enough to. Uh, in my yes, opinion. but they, the party did did end at a pool with a lot of water. Yeah, that could have been a problem. <laughs> that could have been, that could have been with, with people cannonballing from second story. Uh, Shay Carl cannonball, cannonballing. A lot yeah, of bad Shea, things can go wrong there. Things things go go horribly astray. <laughs> uh, never a dull moment with Shay Carl. No, I'm, I'm kind of uh, I'm kind of worried, guys. My my thermostat, the power went off right before we. Record, it started recording this, just the power to just, my thermostat. I don't know if that really happened now. I think you're just <laughs> hallucinating. <laughs> no, was like, I, I, to, I trying to, to kill put batteries me. in there. I gotta, I gotta call the AC guy tomorrow now. Is it starting Jason. to get hot? No. The, the AC is working now that I put the battery, because it's still communicating. Like, the Jason thermostat will technology communicate, is just, it doesn't get power anymore. That's weird how it just cut power. Yeah, that is very strange. If we have oh. any electricians listening to the show... <laughs> you can I, head over to Jason's house and fix his thermostat. No, just email me. Tell me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> we'll fix it while hopped up on Dayquil. <laughs> yeah. That'll be interesting. I can fix anything. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta, I'm gonna go around the house just fixing things. I'll be afraid <laughs> to come over tomorrow. <laughs> I'll knock on the door and the front door will fall off the hinges. Jason will be running around with a screwdriver and a hammer. Come on in. Don't judge me. <laughs> don't, don't judge you. How long has that light bulb been out in your hallway? 
actually, uh, about a day after I moved in, the light bulb burned out. I actually tried. <laughs> I brought the ladder up there and tried to do it, but I couldn't. I couldn't get a, a, a good ladder position going. When I when I come over, when I when I come over, that'll be the first thing I do. Not not tomorrow. You're sick. We'll do no, it. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it next week. Yeah, we'll do it when you're, you're feeling <laughs> Drink better. Drink a bunch of Dayquil and try to change your light. Actually, I want to get I want to get like Climb an LED ladders. light bulb so it never burns out again. Well, go ahead and buy it, and then when I when I come over, yeah, not tomorrow, but the next time, I'll fix it because <sighs> I have an idea of how to place a ladder. Well, I've been, I had, I've I had a bunch of it. ideas, and I, we tried like three different combinations. I, I drew out, I drew out plans and schematics, so I'm ready to oh, go. That's good. That's good. <laughs> I drew pictures of ocelots all day. <laughs> oh, I wonder what I, I don't even know what ocelots sound like. Oh man, how do I not know this? <laughs> they probably uh, sound like a cat. <laughs> I, I bet they sound better than a cat. I you bet they so? sound like. <laughs> <laughs> that's what an ocelot sounds like. <laughs> You have an ocelot like sneak like. into your room. <laughs> Sneaks up right, 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 <laughs> right, right next to your ear. <laughs> that's the sound of an ocelot. No, that's the sound of Jason nibbing away uh, at your soul. See, I imagine yeah. that ocelots. What ocelots do? The way that they look so beautiful is they go around and sneak into people's rooms at night, and they bite away just a little bite of your soul and absorb it, <laughs> just just enough where you don't notice it's missing. <laughs> just, just that tiny piece, that tiny bit of your soul. Is that what that is? I think that's you what can, it is. You can buy you can buy a, a full track of Ocelot sounds for eight dollars ninety five cents. I am buying that. That's, that's an impulse <laughs> buy that I'm gonna do. I, I sent you the link. Oh, you can, I, I you can listen to samples too. I have an account here actually. Audio Sparks. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. You should play. you should just play a oh, ocelot sounds throughout the whole episode. Oh my god! Oh, wow. Ocelots sound great. <laughs> yeah. This is kind of scary. <laughs> it sounds like an angry ocelot. On wow, ocelots get angry angry too. Man, this ocelot is not pleased. Preview. Preview. <laughs> I was like, what the hell is that? I'm listening to a preview. Oh, man. Preview. Well, it's so you don't just record this and, and use it instead of buying the sound. Great. Man, ocelots are dark. I thought maybe that lady was sitting there while they were recording the ocelots <laughs> in, the, in the wild. Preview. Preview. <laughs> preview. We're going to record two versions of this track. <laughs> One with me yelling preview over the ocelot sound. You gotta play the ocelot sounds throughout the whole episode. <laughs> so I'll do that. that. That'll be a great episode. This episode's gonna be weird. This, yeah. is, this is a very strange episode. I don't know. What do you you think we should start over? <laughs> there it is. I'm not even. I'm not even gonna yell at you this time, Robert. <laughs> this time. Not that's, even. That's our Bert. Nothing. Not even drunk Jason finds it funny. No. No. Well, anyway, we should probably move on to the delightful and the repugnant. Robert, what is your delightful this week? My delightful is big butts. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I like big butts, and I cannot lie. I don't. I don't. Uh, I don't <laughs> <laughs> you got Here, here's the problem, Chris. Okay. Not all of us are on Dayquil right now. Here, here's Chris. the thing, Chris. You gotta. You gotta. Whatever the first joke that comes to your head is, you gotta throw it away. Well, I would just, <laughs> you gotta throw was... it away. You know why? Because that's the joke everyone makes. <laughs> See the difference. You've been working in an uh, office too long, Chris. The difference like between office jokes. The difference between office jokes and great jokes are that office jokes are the first one that come to your head, and great jokes are the second one. But I that's am, what she said. But I am the hit of the office. Everyone thinks I'm hilarious. You probably are the funniest person in the office. <laughs> I was you gotta, just, you gotta I was get just past quoting, that, Chris. You gotta, I was quoting my favorite song. You gotta shed the office <laughs> behind you. But that is my all-time favorite song. It's it's gotta be <laughs> <laughs> really. That's Baby the got one. back is my alt. In fact, every uh, wedding I go to, I make sure that the DJ plays that song. <laughs> You're the embarrassing uncle. 
I'm everybody's uncle at the wedding. No, I'd make sure the DJ plays that song, and Jennifer and I dance to that song, yeah. even if yeah, nobody see, else is dancing. See, I know you. I know you like big butts. That's why you married Jennifer. Oh hell yeah, yeah. She's got a she's got a caboose <laughs> on her. Yeah. Man, I wish I could blame cold medicine. So, yeah, right now you're completely uh, with it. I'm completely with it. Well, Robert, what is your repugnant? What do you hate? Well, I'm not done talking about big butts. What do you like about big butts, nah. Robert? I just like I, I like them. I'm I'm an, I'm an ass guy. Yeah, boobs are great, but I'm an ass guy. Yeah, I think I'm the same way. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> repugnant. That's all I wanted to say. Repugnant. My repugnant is, is small uh, flat butts. My repugnant is uh is a uh, is skinny girls with no ass <laughs> or anything. If you don't have a big butt, at least have boobs. <laughs> yes, people. People are how, deciding how in, their body makeup. How how un- inconsiderate of, of Paris Hilton to, to look like she's to look very like tiny. The way she, she's very the way very she, thin. She's too thin. She's ha- she has nothing. Kind of like the Olsen twins. You know, they're extremely small. It's it's uh, no, like, Nick, like Nickasaur. Like that's not a yeah. Like Nickasaur. That's not a woman. <laughs> I, lo- I look at these girls. I'm like, that's not a woman. Man, Robert. You know? I literally, I literally came up with these repugnant and, and delightfuls like right before the episode. I like I got, all women, all no, shapes don't. and colors. No, you don't. There's not a lot of people that you actually like, Jason. No, no, I'm, I'm a pretty. Like, hateful you dislike person. you. You dislike most people, actually. Yeah, yeah. Especially it is true. Women. I am, I am, I'm filled with hate, like like the ocelot. <laughs> the ocelot is filled with hate. I am. After hearing those growls, that's that's a hateful <laughs> growl. I was surprised. I was expecting their, their <laughs> sound to be. It wasn't Actually, I think at all. It was. Rah. Rah. They sound like they sound like panthers. They, they sound like vicious. lions. They yeah, sound like know. they're going to take a, a huge bite of your soul when they come into your room. <laughs> Not just that tiny nibble. Well, no, maybe they were being uh, poked with with a uh, with sticks. No, I think I think they do do tiny nibbles. Except I think it's like over a period of time, and so eventually, like half your soul is missing because they come in every night and take another bite. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, what is your delightful? <laughs> my delightful is this week is my final week working in an office. Oh yeah, what's what's your final day of work? My final day, I process out on Friday, mm. April eighth at seven thirty in the morning. So after seven thirty, I'm done. Yeah. You wow. Should, you so should, you're, you, we should celebrate. Yeah. What are we gonna do? Louis Man, and Maria's. Why can't I, be, I should have stayed for another week. <laughs> it's got to be Louis and Maria's. I should have stayed for another week. Yeah, you should have stayed with you to be here for the celebration. Yeah, that I'm sucks. really, I'm really excited. We'll do That's shots good. of Dayquil, so- then go to Louis and Maria's. <laughs> <laughs> How many times we went to Louis and Maria's? Like three times last week. Yeah, I know, we, man. we, we, got, we gotta go for your celebration. Yeah, we will go to Louis and Maria's for my celebration. It's kind of I want, a scary. I want some uh, more uh, margarita pizza. Yeah, it was man. Good. Yeah, it's gotta be. Are you like nervous at all? Like that you're gonna be making a living just off the internet now? <laughs> it is. It is a little. Uh, because yeah, I, I'm a little nervous. I never had to do that jump. I, so I'm never... nervous because it's a terrible idea. <laughs> it is a terrible idea. <laughs> but it has to be slightly terrible for it to be worth doing. Uh, because if there wasn't say... a risk, then everyone would be doing it. But you right. you have the uh, you have the desire. It, well, the way I, I said, I don't have Jace. any kids yet. I don't yeah. have this many is, responsibilities. This is your time to take to take the jump. This is the time to do it. Yeah, you can't you can't do this five years from now. No, or next year. You're getting old, man. <laughs> or next year. <laughs> you've uh, you've seen uh, you've seen more sunsets than you will see. <laughs> I mean, it's almost over. <laughs> <laughs> My life is coming to an end. See, I feel lucky because I never had to make this jump. Like I started, well, started making money. You started early. Like when I was 16, <laughs> I already had a when job. I was when, when I was, I was when 16, I was, I was bagging groceries at Publix. When, when I was, I was 16, I already. Check. When I was 16, I already had over twenty thousand dollars in my bank account. So I've I've never had to go. You know what? I think I'm going to do it. I nope. think I can make a living off of it. I think I can quit my job at Walmart and uh, and make internet videos. I was working at uh, at Radio Shack and uh, working illegal hours. <laughs> so I was I was under and they, were, they were working me for more hours than I was illegally allowed to work in Florida. I think Radio Shack's a little shady all around, anyway. Yeah. They're like, hey, Jason, we need you to come in for 16 hours tomorrow. <laughs> oh, great. I don't know. <laughs> that doesn't sound right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not joking about that. It was 16 hours, and they were like, hey, you need to come in. 16 wow. hours. So I was there until like 1 in the morning doing stocking stuff. Jesus Christ. We'll hope the state doesn't audit us this this week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, because yeah, miners. Uh, right, like, well, I remember at Publix, it was it was extremely strict. Uh, miners had to work three hours on. They had an hour break, yeah. and then they worked another three hours, and that was it. No, I never, I never, I never followed any of those rules of Radio Shack. Man, what it is was, your uh, repugnance, Chris? My repugnant is uh, something we just talked about. Uh, Robert got me sick, oh, yes. and I'm yeah. I'm uh, I'm uh, not feeling well. Yeah, yeah I'm so sorry. Thank you, thank you, Bert. Appreciate it. I'm sorry. My delightful so. this week is white porcelain. I am a huge fan. Oh, that's your delightful. Yes. I was gonna say, I wasn't listening. I was looking at my phone. <laughs> <laughs> How often does that happen, Robert? Uh, not not. I'm I'm rarely on my phone. <laughs> Like a rarely. I'll, Let me explain I'll, I'll, my white porcelain fascination. Okay. <laughs> I have white porcelain bowls, white porcelain cups, white porcelain coffee cups, white porcelain everything. I bought a whole bunch of white porcelain teacups actually recently. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm huge fan of white porcelain. <laughs> I don't know why. I just like the design because it's you have to have an interesting cup design for white porcelain to look interesting. Yeah. So it has to be. You have to design it right. You can't just smather on a whole bunch of crazy, crazy colors or anything. You know. uh... <laughs> Most of my teeth are actually made out of white porcelain. Hey, there you go. Your, your teeth match. There you go. Yeah, there you, there you go. They match. My, uh, my, t- my teeth are made out of porcelain. <laughs> my teeth are made out of enamel. I have, have $15,000 teeth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that... that's what I spend my money on. My repugnant <laughs> is dragons. They are scary. No, it's oh, not that they're scary. Dra- Wait, dragons don't like- are the dick of the animal kingdom. <laughs> it, God, think about dragons for a second, okay? Tell it, Jason. Think about this. What other animal just randomly wanders into a village and starts attacking shit? I think they're just misunderstood. No, they're not just misunderstood. Freaking Maybe dragons, they just dragons come out of nowhere there and breathe the people. fire on people. It's like, Maybe dragons were there before the people. Think about the most dangerous animal you can think of, like the, the Maybe freaking hippopotamus or something, okay? If you run up to a hippopotamus and, 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 or anything, you're going to get attacked. But people know that, and they stay away from them, and everything's fine. Now okay, imagine I I... if, like, you're sitting there at home, and a freaking hippopotamus runs into your cul-de-sac <laughs> and starts slamming into cars and shit. Well, that's that what dragons are like. They just come out of freaking nowhere and attack people for no reason. No, wait a minute. If you're in the if you're in the middle of the of the lake or wherever the hippopotamus is at, their dragons home, always show up out of nowhere. Like they have they have their cave that they live in, like a mile away. Dragons <laughs> always live in a cave somewhere. Like except they make the trip. They make the freaking trip out to find villages just to, to screw be assholes. With. Just to be freaking. Do all dicks. dragons fly? Do all dragons fly, or, or is it only some of them? No, no, all dragons. Well, Komodo dragons. They don't fly. They're not really dragons, though. No, those but, are big reptiles. No, but but dragons, yeah, the, the flying dragons, they show up out of nowhere. If they couldn't fly, they would freaking walk. They would <laughs> no, just, you they, know what movie really sucked? They would walk. What's Maybe that? they just want attention. Pete's, Peach Dragon. That movie really sucked. Is that, uh, is that the That's one? That's the one with the cartoon, cartoon dragon, dragon and the yeah. live action? Yeah. It's one Disney I movie I, I didn't seen like. That in a while. Ugh. But I don't man, know what it is. Dragons. Maybe they just want attention. <laughs> they want something. It, they're just bored and they decide they want to be dicks. That's that's it. So my, my repugnant is dragons. Dragons suck. Well, I guess I guess you're, you should be grateful that we don't live in an era with dragons right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad the dragons are all gone. <laughs> they went the way of the unicorn. The only the only magical animals we have to deal with now are ocelots. <laughs> if I come over tomorrow, Jason, and there's an ocelot in your house, I'm gonna go home. I would if I could get an ocelot, I would get one. I think you can have them, but I think there's strict requirements for for the kind of environment. Like I think you have to have a big backyard, and I don't have that at all. I have a forest, no. and, and you got a pool. <laughs> oh, I wonder if there's any ocelots living in the forest behind my house. I don't think ocelots live in this area. I gotta go out and gonna... check tonight. I gotta take some more Dayquil. I gotta take some Nyquil. And I gotta run out into the forest and check. You're gonna for be ocelots. making ocelot be sounds. Sleeping in the middle of the woods. Are He's gonna know, wake up in the middle of the night, not know where the hell he is. Cuddling with an ocelot. Hey, you're gonna download the ocelot sounds and walk around. He's gonna think he's gonna be cuddling Preview. with an ocelot, but it's really a homeless person. <laughs> yeah, well, let's let's move on to world news. Let's go. Let's go with Chris first. I don't this think week. you should drink any more Dayquil, Jason. <laughs> I think you've had enough. I think I should drink a lot more Dayquil. <laughs> I, I think we should. I think we should uh, Wait, do the, the, the episodes who's... drunk sometimes. All right, well, here's here's Chris's news story. My news story. Uh, Google. You can, you can do it drunk. You can do an episode drunk. I, I don't get drunk. I like yeah, to I see how close I can get to being drunk before I stop. Well, one glass of wine. 
Yeah, yeah it's, it's not <laughs> much for Robert. Like, things start to get a little it wobbly. It takes a little bit more for me because I'm a bit more of a, of a connoisseur of beer. So, see, I don't even like alcohol, so so it's pretty easy for me not to drink it. You might like apple teenies. They're very they're very uh, sweet. <laughs> what, what about what about apple strawberry teenies daiquiris? Sounds exactly like a kind of a. Any, anything with a fruit in the name sounds like something Robert would drink. <laughs> That'd be a really, really drink. Robert would take a vodka guy. <laughs> mm. So what's your news right. story, Chris? My news story, I sent it out to you guys. Uh, Google tackles the like button with plus one. Yeah, I saw that. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of interesting. Google's trying to... If by interesting, you mean boring. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe to you. You're an angry drunk. Yeah, when, when did you get angry all of a sudden, Jason? Come on, Jason, give him a chance. <laughs> I hate all of it. you. <laughs> give me, give me a chance with my story. I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna shell over I'm yours. Not, I'm not, I'm not attacking your story. I'm attacking Google. Jason, Why are you attacking Google? What has Jason, Google ever done to you? This is not, you're, this is not you're a, the uh, modern. You're you know, the modern I, dragon. Is, yeah. Oh man, that's low, Robert. That's low. <laughs> You go out of your way just to be a dick. <laughs> no, seriously, like he, he flew to Texas just to come in and throw coffee at my face. Yeah, I did that. And then he, and then he kicked me in the balls. <laughs> it flicked me off. Take that, Robert. All right, so yeah. what's, what's the deal with this like this uh, plus one button, Chris? Well, in order to get, you have to have a Google profile set up. Yeah, which no one has. Which no one has right now, but I think people are eventually going to get it set up. In fact, I set mine up this morning. But basically what you could do is when you search for something, you can, if you, say you search for Film Cow and the website pops up, you can yeah. plus one it. And so say your friends in your contact list or people that follow your profile, they can look at all the stuff that you plus one or uh, quote unquote liked. Yeah. And and so it kind of gives you, it gives them a, an idea of what you like uh, along the web, like what, what stuff has come up. And it could also be, in, eventually you could like uh, say you uh, plus one uh, a coffee maker or something like that. Or Jason recommends this coffee maker. Um, and I, I know Jason likes coffee. Every website that has to do with ocelots and plus one. It. <laughs> and then, and then people looking for ocelots can go find your plus one websites. And I'm going to look I'm at plus it. one so many ocelot pages that the whole results are going to be skewed. <laughs> people are going to search for anything. And it's just going to come up with ocelot related material. That's, that's what's going to happen. Yeah, see, well, that's what I'm talking about. You're an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Which, no, I'm enlightening people to the wonders of the ocelot. What, are your, <laughs> what is your news story, Robert? Uh, my news story... Do I get it copied? Yeah. Damn it. Here there it comes. Go. My news story is a, a Californian man is charged with demanding a rub down and two hundred dollars while, while while pretending to be a, ma a massage parlor inspector. <laughs> what? Police say he was wearing a badge when he entered the Golden Spa massage parlor in Lake Forest on January thirty first and told the manager he was investigating a complaint. He then complained of back pain and a massage, and a masseuse gave him a back rub before the man asked for a frontal massage, which was refused. <laughs> how, do you, how do you go into a massage parlor, and what is the, what is the code, code word that say you kind of want you know, a little bit more than I would like standard? you to touch my penis. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I do. Robert just walks in and goes, I'm only here for a rubdown of my genitalia. Yeah, that's what I do. Is that all it takes? That's pretty much all it takes. You just go in, like, hey, I... Can you jack me off? <laughs> Are there it's, particular it's massage parlors that do they have like a sign in the window or something that lights up saying that they give happy endings here? No, they no. Of course not. Don't be stupid. Then what is what is the code? How do you know? Because if I go into a massage parlor and I walk in, do you think there's anywhere you can go where uh, you can have your needs satisfied if you're sexually attracted to ocelots? <laughs> Probably Animal Kingdom. I'm just saying, I think if someone was attracted to gotta, cats, it's got to be ocelots. Ocelots have, have got to be. There ocelots are the babes you. of the cat world. Jason's not allowed to have Dayquil anymore. <laughs> Chris, do me a favor. After we record this, can you go over to his house and just strip him of all his Dayquil? <laughs> just drink lots of orange juice. You'll be okay. Yeah, drink the orange juice. See, I never take, I never freaking take medicine, so when I do take... When I do take something like this, and it has a profound effect on me. I could, I could tell. I could tell. Um, are you gonna make another triangle movie? <laughs> oh God! My, I can imagine the, the cartoon. Is my and, ideas, and the, my ideas when I'm when I'm like this are always bad. So, I got I, you gotta have a clear head to come up with good ideas. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta have a clear head to come up with marshmallow people. Because the ideas you come up with when you're on uh, Dayquil, 
are funny when you're on Dayquil and not funny when you're not on Dayquil. Just like you're going to be listening to this podcast tomorrow and be like, oh my god. <laughs> I know, I thought ocelots were pretty awesome before this, so. Yeah, you, I remember you talking about them like the, when I, I was with I you. I talk about them a lot. You sh- <laughs> I like ocelots. <laughs> They're pretty great. She had to well, show me a picture of one and everything. Here's, here, yeah, right. I did. Here's, what's, here's what's my your... new story. Uh, Does that have to do with ocelots? Oh, no. Homeless Naples man arrested after deputies find $400,000 in jewelry. Now, this is uh, this this is actually pretty hilarious when you read the story. So, uh, a suspicious vehicle call in Bonita Springs uh, resulted in the arrest of a Naples homeless man who had more than $400,000 in jewelry and a large amount of Pokemon cards in his car. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Kenneth uh, Tanasi, 20, who is no known address, was charged with burglary and grand theft. Uh, what had happened is a uh, deputies went to a K&M jewelry at the Flamingo Island Flea Market, uh, where uh, the store owner said that uh, about $100,000 worth of jewelry had been stolen. While they were investigating, they received a call about a suspicious man wearing between 50 and 100 necklaces in a silver <laughs> sports car at Lucia Drive and Mora Lane in Bonita Was he trying to pick up women with that? Uh, so they get on my bling. So the guy has a hundred necklaces on and a car full of Pokemon cards. That doesn't stand out at all. <laughs> and so they, they, they found him. They found the uh, the Mazda. And uh, deputies saw numerous white jewelry boxes, some open, some containing rings inside the car. On the oh, these, ground, are my, these are my jewelries. On the ground, on the inside of the car, were numerous Pokemon cards and wrappers. Uh, yeah, so... <laughs> They could not. <laughs> deputies believe there were other victims because they could not find who owned the remaining jewelry or the Pokemon cards. A search warrant allowed deputies to inspect the car, and they found marijuana, jewelry, and the Pokemon cards. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. This guy goes out and he's like, "I'm gonna steal four hundred thousand dollars in jewelry and a hundred dollars worth of Pokemon cards." <laughs> <laughs> at what point are you stealing a bunch of jewelry and you decide you also want a bunch of Pokemon cards? Can you like, imagine I, he pulls man, up to a schoolyard and he, steals and he a opens bunch of up this his stuff vest. And he's like, you know what? I don't wear jewelry. I don't like jewelry. I, w- I want to steal something I like. I like I like the <laughs> shit out of some Pokemon cards. You get that Pikachu card. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's, it's a Charizard. Oh, my God. Oh, this is the best day of my life. Oh, it's this is the best day of my life. Holographic Charizard. This guy had way too many bites taken out of his soul from the ocelots. <laughs> there goes the ocelots. There's going to be ocelots all episode. <laughs> Might as well. How far are we in? You know what? 40 minutes? The 15th point of the 14 points of Woodrow Wilson's speech should have been ocelots are awesome. That's how we should have ended <laughs> yeah. it. We should have been talking about are all you, this diplomatic a... stuff. And the 15th I think point... anybody... Well, there you go. Just edit the Wikipedia page. And 15 add, uh... points should have been ocelots are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I'm, I'm editing the uh, the Wikipedia page now, actually. <laughs> You're actually going to do it. What are you going to do? He's going he's to edit number 15. are awesome. Into. <laughs> How long is that going to be up there? Oh, Jason. Not long. You got There it. you go. The uh, f- 15th point. <laughs> Well, the 14 point summary is now ocelots are awesome. There it is. <laughs> there you go. It's now official. Woodrow Wilson said so. <laughs> Woodrow Wilson yeah. said so. Uh, that's going to be there for a while. I wonder how many people. I mean, uh, I mean how often is this page updated <laughs> or looked at? I know. I mean, there's not, there's not a whole lot. <laughs> Although there, there is a message, actually. I guess other people have been editing this because one of the messages on it says this this section's factual accuracy is disputed. It's going to be even more disputed now. <laughs> this doesn't seem right. <laughs> Something about this. Well, anyway, that uh, that was world news. So, Robert, do you have a weekly vague Facebook status update of the week? Oh, shit. I actually uh, <laughs> forgot all about that. Well, we don't need one. We have a bunch of emails to go through this week. Yeah, that's true. Oh, wait. We have the Order of the Pony update first. Wait, I don't, I'm not even doing that section anymore. I'm not segment anymore. I'm no. not doing that, remember? Oh, okay. I quit. Quit it. Seems like we keep on uh, dropping off segments. Well, let's go directly I'm trying to... to find one that, I'm trying to find one that I really you know, <laughs> want to do every week. Well, let's go directly to the Order of the Pony update, then. <laughs> So 
we didn't we didn't have an update last week because uh, we were we were slacking. We were slackers. We we had we had an update from the order, but it was time sensitive, and uh, so it's kind of it might be bad that we didn't report it. Yeah, we're um. We, we we're might be, gonna be. We're gonna be killed. No, no, we we probably well. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> if there's anything that can protect us from the pony, it's have the ocelots. Have we have we gotten any uh, feedback from the order yet about the about the show? Because we've been doing well, the show for over a month. We haven't gotten any positive feedback, but anyway, today's uh, today's update: <laughs> the uh, falcons are now officially on the list of things that anger the pony. It is unclear what falcons did that angered the chaos pony, or if they did anything <laughs> at all, actually. But uh, for the foreseeable future. It is advisable to not act like or resemble a falcon. Uh, also, we have a message from the Order's Department of Human Defense. Attention all Toyota Yaris owners. Your car is alive. Seek shelter immediately. That is the Order of the Pony update for this week. So, guys, you want to get to some emails? Yeah. My favorite. Yeah, we got we got a ton of emails, which is good because we have like thirteen more minutes to fill. Good, awesome. All right, first email. It's from uh, it's either Charles, I think it's Charles, maybe Charlie's from Charlie, Charles. I don't know. Hey guys, I love the <laughs> podcast you guys have started doing. It rather tickles my funny bone. My question to you is, what is your opinion of furries in the furry fandom? <laughs> For anyone who doesn't know, furries are uh... actually it's kind of complicated. I remember, um, I remember uh, when he had to explain explain to Chris what furries were. Yeah, yeah. For no, I don't think we we're explaining. To me. I already knew. I think we we're explaining to. Oh, you were explaining to, uh, explaining to Nick. Some, someone. To, I think someone else because yeah. I already knew what it was about. Uh, no, it's it's basically heard. people who identify with a particular animal. Um, who, who Jason believe. is the ocelot. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> if I was a furry, I would be an ocelot, yes. <laughs> and, uh, but there, there's a second side to, to the furry fandom because there, there's like the whole people who draw artwork and uh, and do cartoons and stuff based on anthropomorphic animals. And there's also the uh, the people who dress up in animal costumes and, and go to furry gatherings. And, Which is probably uh, you. And then, <laughs> and then there's the uh, the even more extreme side uh, with yiffing, where they dress up in these animal costumes and then have sex with each other. I I don't. I mean, it's not my cup of tea, but I don't I don't look down upon anyone who does it. No, no. I mean, you but know, it's not anything I would do. No, <laughs> you wouldn't dress up like a uh, like a like a cat and. Uh, no, no, and in fact, I don't really like cats too much. I think if I was if I was to dress up as something, I think it'd be a dog. I'm more of a dog it'd, person. It'd be a, a dog. I think the most popular animal in, in furry fandom is the fox. That yeah. seems to be popular. If I was if I was a fox, I would be a fennec. That's another animal I really like. <laughs> Robert would be a banana. Everyone, everyone should look up fennec. <laughs> fennec in the back. Yeah. I'd be hey a guys, banana. Am I doing this right? <laughs> <laughs> Walks in a banana costume. Hey, what's going on over here? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think the thing is, like, most most of the people that I've met, because I've met um, a few furries, and uh, they, they seem they seem a bit shy and and maybe uh, somewhat socially awkward, and so maybe maybe this like this, us, this is their way of opening up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, because it, it's it's a it's a very accepting community. Yeah. Uh, so it it you know it it, it provides that sort of. Uh, I mean, so so is Alcoholics Anonymous. They're accepting as well, but they don't dress up in. Uh, I don't like. I don't. I'm not. I'm not a huge fan of Alcoholics Anonymous. <laughs> they, yeah. they help a lot of people, but if I if I was an alcoholic or a Dayquil holic, <laughs> which you're I heading would, down I, that road, I, 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 would, yeah. <laughs> I would probably go to another group. But uh, <laughs> but again, they 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 do help a lot of people. It's just not my cup of tea. Was that AA or furries? Both. Oh, okay. So uh, the next next email is from Tyler. Hey, guys, love the show so far. I really hope that you do some more big skits because those were great in the last show. Also, why doesn't Robert have a thick southern accent? I might just be stereotyp- stereo. He says, I might just be stereotypical. I think stereotyping. But uh, yeah. everyone from Texas has an accent. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> I don't know anybody from Texas. Uh who has an accent? I've been living in Texas for uh, yeah! well, basically all my life. <laughs> yeah, that's people a, say that in Texas. 
The only person I know who has a southern accent is my grandmother and a couple of my cousins, but that's pretty much it. Out of all the times I went to Texas, I think I only encountered maybe one or two people that had a really thick southern yeah. accent. Yeah, it's a myth. Next email from Christian. Hello, Jason, Chris, and Nux. Oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Your intro almost sounds like a propaganda broadcast. Why is that? Uh, well, this is actually technically a propaganda broadcast. Yeah. That's that's why. <laughs> we're, we're just uh, not doing it very well. Next email's from uh, Nalik. <laughs> Hello, Knox, Jason, and Chris. I put Knox first so he could feel special. <laughs> it feels super special because you, you said Knox instead of Robert. <laughs> uh, I would like some advice on how to successfully write a script as well as make a movie. My senior project, this is a long email. So so basically he's asking uh, what what is our advice for screenwriting and, 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 and such. Well, first you drink a whole bottle of Dayquil. <laughs> that's, that's, a good, that's a good advice. It and comes then you up make with animal videos. Material. Well, I think I think uh, well, I, I've seen Jason I got do this. A thousand he, video ideas right now, and they're all about ocelots. Yeah, <laughs> ha, ask him the same question tomorrow. No, seriously, I think Jason, you keep a lot of uh, ideas in your phone. You kind of write stuff down as you see stuff throughout the day. Yeah, but uh, as for the actual writing part, I mean, honestly, the biggest advice you can ever get is to just write a lot. Just do it a lot because the, the, if, if you go and write something right now and you haven't written before, it's probably not going to be great. But by writing and realizing what's not great about it, you the next time you write it's slightly better. And you keep getting better and better, writing more and more, until finally you don't suck. That's or you can be like us, and you don't get better and better. <laughs> yes. And or you, you can, and you you can end suck. up in a rut. <laughs> a good old rut. But yeah, next email. It's, it's honestly, like, I think, especially with, uh, with writing... Uh, you sh- you need to give yourself a number of pages in which you're going to write each day, and then write that much, even if you have nothing to write about. Just just write something. You have to you have to be writing continuously, or else it's you're just not going to uh, to get better. You know, I mean, I, I I have I have friends who who want to uh, who who want to be writers, but they never write, and so it's it's just not going to ever lead anywhere. You got to do yeah. it. Whatever you want to do, you got to you got to do it all the time. You just got to do it. Just go for it. You gotta want it. Just do it. Just do it. The Chaos Pony it. motto. <laughs> yes, Just yes. do it. Yep. That's it. <laughs> the Chaos Pony is wise indeed. Next email is from Alex. Uh, Dear Robert, Chris, and Jason. Uh, Jason seems to mention a bit about how there is another person living with him whom I'm assuming is Nick. Uh, but what is your relation with Nick? Uh, actually, no, it's, uh, I live with my brother, Josh. Uh, Nick is my cousin. Which we Nick rarely is, Nick ever is my see. Brother. We rarely see Josh. I think the last time I was there, I was there for a week, and I probably saw him like twice. Yeah, Josh is literally working on important space stuff. So, yes, yeah, Josh is good. We used to see him all the time. Yeah, but he's uh, he's, he's when he's changed. Yeah, he's a changed man. He's a scientist. And the second part of his email. Also, there is a post on the Facebook page claiming Knox is gay. Uh, so Hi. I have to. <laughs> So I have to ask what your sexuality is. I have no problems with homosexuality, but I'm straight, and I would find it understandable if you do not want to answer this question. I just thought I'd try. I don't think I don't think I'm gay. No, there, there's a there's a common troll that people used to do on the the Newgrounds thing, which I think yeah. is probably what was on Nux, the Facebook. Nux, Nux, is, Nux, Nux is gay. Nux, Nux sucks. Nux is gay. You get it, whatever. Robert? Because gay whatever. means homosexual. It's whatever. And so so that means that means. That means that you like guys. I'm I'm not gay, but I'll put my mouth on anything that 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 is alive. <laughs> oh Jesus, <laughs> man! I'm a vegetarian, but I would probably eat ocelot meat. <laughs> if that's true, Jason, I, that I will be... find an ocelot and cook it up right now for you. No, no, just I mean, like a watch I would never meat. I think that would... the grandest creature in all of nature yeah. by by eating it. But you know, if I could absorb just a little bit of its power, I might be tempted to do it. I don't think ocelots have any power at all. <laughs> They're the most powerful of, of the animal kingdom. Like if you figure, if Charlie Sheen can have tiger blood, then maybe you would Jason absorb can be ocelot all of the blood. souls that they've eaten. Just what? think about that. <laughs> Shut up, Next Jason. E- <laughs> Next email is from Michael. Uh, he says, "Hello, Jason, Chris, and that other guy." Uh, <laughs> Holy Jesus! Three questions, uh, Jason. Uh, a question for you. I heard you talk br- very briefly about Heavy Rain. I was wondering your opinion on the game. Would you recommend it? Yeah, yeah, I, I enjoyed it. 
Uh, number two, a uh, question for all of you and that Benford guy. Uh, was there anything you guys? <laughs> what's, what's with all this mean stuff? I know, this guy's an asshole. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pretend like I don't know who that is. Was there anything you guys wanted to do the besides guy... making movies, acting, etc.? I'd like to have an ocelot farm. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be the answer to everything from this point on. It's just all ocelot. <laughs> it's gonna be ocelot. It's gonna be ocelot related. So he asked. He asked what we would do if we didn't do this. Uh, yeah. Haven't, haven't we gotten this question before? Uh, maybe. Or maybe maybe we haven't. Is there anything I don't know what started, I would. I, I don't know how to do this full time. Yeah. I, like I don't know how to do anything shop. else. That would be cool. That that is that that is Jason. That is I so want to do the. Uh, I want to do the voiceovers for the Magic Kingdom. <laughs> yeah, that's. I want to be the park announcer. Number three. Uh, what are your plans? Wait, for... wait, wait. Uh, what's what's that? Remember? I. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that Ben Actually, forgot. I don't, I don't. I don't. I don't know how to do anything else. So I. I, I wouldn't be doing <laughs> anything. Ro would be just. <laughs> I would there. be uh, I would be in I would be in I would be, I would be an empty person. You would you wouldn't move. You would just no, sit there. No the purpose. doctors wouldn't know what was wrong. No purpose. I would be I'd just lay there. You could be a food like, critic what, for uh, chicken what wings. Do do now? Oh yeah. Well, there you go. <laughs> for I can go to, I, can, yes. I can go to buffalo wing testing <laughs> parties. Or Number, no, a buffalo wing tasting. Number 3, what are the plans for any more DVD releases like the Master Collection and Clay World series? Um, I want to make a feature this year. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. We're, we're I mean, I'd like to make a, I'd make a, I'd like to make a Clay World series feature. I've been talking about that for a while. It's just I haven't gotten around to it. Yeah, we're, uh, we might eventually release another DVD of like a uh, compilation and stuff because the one we have up is is pretty old at the moment. Next email is from Eddie. Uh, he says, uh, uh, "Jason, I know you're into technology and space travel, so I would like to know if you've heard of the Star Child Project, and if so, what do you think about it?" Well, for anyone who doesn't know, the Star Child, um, anthropologists uh, found a uh, mutated human skull. It was like a kid who had some sort of genetic disease or some sort of uh, br uh, uh, brain issue, and so the skull looks kind of weird. They've done DNA testing uh -oh. on it, and it's 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 a human skull had human parents. So it's just a stupid. But there's a group of people thing. who thinks it's an alien baby or something. <laughs> <laughs> Because it looks sort of weird, it it looks kind of like like a sci-fi alien skull, but it's it's a human skull. Yeah, it does look kind of weird. Yeah, <laughs> you're looking at it. Yeah, yeah. It, it looks like it looks like the classic like the artist impressions looks like the classic what you would think an alien would look like. Yeah, I mean it definitely looks weird. I mean it, but the, the thing with a, with a lot of uh, weird looking things like whenever they find a. Uh, like a dead dog that had lost all its hair because of mange or something. It's always, we found a chupacabra. We oh, found geez. it. But then they do DNA <laughs> testing and it's a dog or a wolf or something. And the thing is, like, when you find, and it, 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 this always happens with the monsters, like when a sea monster washes up on shore and it's like, whoa, we found a sea monster and it ends up being just a normal sea creature that had some sort of disease or mutation or something. That would be me. And, yeah... <laughs> I I I, I always th I'm always finding things that I think is a sea creature or sea monster. <laughs> yeah, so it, it, this is pretty common. Star Child is just another one of those things. It must have sucked to be that kid growing up. You had a big head. Anyway, uh, the second question is for Robert. <laughs> Freak. <laughs> Robert, what, what do you think of furniture porn? Oh, I I don't know if I should talk about that. <laughs> Next email no, is from. Uh, like I said, if I if I could touch it, then uh, then I could do it. <laughs> Next email is from Yogan. I, I don't think I'm really answering the question. I'm just talking. I think about it's Yogan. E O G H A N. I, I guess that's how it's pronounced. Uh, hello, Jason, Chris, and Bobby. I like your <laughs> show, and I have a couple questions for you guys. How and when do you edit in the sound and themes for the segments and introductions to them? I seem to remember Jason reviewing a Russian Alice in Wonderland stop motion film. I'm wondering what the film was called, and where I might be able to cut a copy. It's not a Russian film. It's a, uh, a from the Czech Republic by Jan Schwankmeyer. Uh, it's called Alice. So <laughs> one of the one of the first birthday presents you've ever gotten me. <coughs> Excuse me. Whoa. You okay, buddy? I was looking at ocelot. I have like an ocelot hairball. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what that was? Yeah, that's what that was. Uh, as for when we edit in the sound and stuff, yeah, it's after we record. I, I bring it into a final cut. You know what's sad, though, is I actually hear the sound in my mind as we do the transitions. <laughs> that's, that's, my, that's pretty uh, sad. It's my mind control. 
Yeah, it's pretty sad. All right, next email is from Sydney. Uh, she sent a picture of... Yes, we're, we're getting an email from Sydney, Australia. <laughs> Uh, Sydney says uh, she she sent a picture of her uh, her sitting in a bubble chair. She says, "I want to see." So this is my stepdad's bubble chair. The last episode you talked about the ball chair, so I was wondering if it was like this. Uh, the bubble chair is different from the ball chair in is that she- the bubble chair you hang it from the ceiling. I think it's like a clear sort of sphere. It's it's. I want to see the picture. It's very. I want to see the picture. Jesus Christ, Robert. <laughs> I don't have the picture available right here. I copied the uh, <laughs> the emails before. The, it, it's similar. It's just the ball chair is uh, it's it's a ground. It, it stays on the ground and it's not clear, but it, it's pre- it's pretty similar. Other than that, and the whole like the uh, the whole chair is is padded too. So it's it's, it's, it's a very comfy. Different chair. Yeah. I'm, the uh, number fifteen is gone. It's already gone. It's already been edited away. <laughs> that was quick. Somebody changed it. Oh man. Already? <laughs> Somebody cared. Somebody cares that much about this speech. You don't mess with this. It's an important speech. Well, you can still look at it in the history, though, right? That, that's a tribute that's... to uh, to the Wikipedia arth- authors that they, <laughs> they they were on top of that that quickly. Yeah. Well, that's, actually, that's actually pretty good. Anyway, she says, uh, I live in Arizona. I really wish I could come to the meetups you guys have. I really... Uh, so if you... If you actually end up reading this, then I have a question. Have you ever seen the Rocky Horror Picture Show? It is my favorite movie, and a local movie theater in my town plays it with a live cast every month. It's really cool. And if you haven't seen it, then you should. Also, have you seen Tank Girl? It's another cool movie. I've seen it. I've seen both those movies. I haven't seen uh, either of those movies, actually. Tank Girl is one of my favorite films, actually. What do you think about the Rocky Horror Picture Uh, Show? I actually had... It's one of the... I've been meaning to see that for forever, but I've, I've never seen it. Yeah, really? Yeah. The Rocky Horror Picture Show. That's that's an event. That's not just watching a movie. That's yeah. Supposedly, those are events. I mean, considering they still play it. <laughs> that's that's a big thing. People dressing up and yeah, I, 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 like I to gotta go. The, and, I, like to I gotta go and actually see that because I, I I haven't I, I need to see is, that movie. Is there any place in Orlando that does that? Uh, there's got to be. I'm sure the Enzion does it uh, at, at least once a year. Actually, you know, I thought I saw at the uh, at down at uh, Universal City Walk. I think around the Halloween time. I think they have showings at midnight. Anyway, the next email is from Laura. Hey, Chaos <laughs> Pony. What do you guys think of the Narwhal, the Jedi of the Sea? It's it's interesting. It's what, what is what is it's, what it's is a, that? It's a cool looking animal. It's like it's it looks kind of like a dolphin with a giant unicorn horn. It's a tooth, oh, wow. but it it looks like a, a horn. They call it a tooth. It's it's a tooth, yeah. They're crazy. Those things gotta be sharp. I suppose you haven't been talking about one of those things. <laughs> no, they're not, they're not as cool as the ocelots. They don't they don't have any power. Those aren't as cool as the ocelots. That thing has a a massive tooth uh, coming out of their face. I know. I'm, I'm just saying. You know, they're, they're pretty cool. <laughs> they're pretty cool. I, I don't I don't know if they're ocelot cool though. You're not gonna be able to convince Jason, Chris. He's Next, he's really he's really set on ocelots. Next email is from Mason. So far, I'm loving the new show. I've been the listener. Oh, why is Jason a vegetarian? Because he's a freak. Yeah. Well, he's a see, he's a dirty hippie. An ocelot yeah. came into my room one night and <laughs> promised me that my soul would not be eaten if I ate no other animal of the world. So, because of the promise I made to that ocelot. <laughs> We should just change the topic of the week to the Ocelot. No, no. <laughs> ocelot should be the topic of every week. It, it it should not be bound by one single episode. That'll be your delightful each week. <laughs> yeah, I'm just not comfortable with uh, with eating meat, so I don't. That's about I, on it. the other hand, I'm very comfortable with eating meat. But he, but he's a cool vegetarian. I'm a, I'm a cool. I, I wear uh, 90 sunglasses and. Yeah, and I wear there shirts with triangles on them, and I run around on a skateboard. There you go. That's a, that's a cool. It's a cool vegetarian. Yeah. Next email is from uh, Scott. Scott says because Robert's uh, catchphrase is "Let's start over." I was wondering how often you guys actually start over or edit out a piece of your podcast. Well, we've edited <laughs> out a lot of this podcast, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Jason has his work cut out for him. There's a, we'll we'll edit something out when. Uh, 
when when there, it's something that we're not supposed to release yet or, or talk about yet or something that accidentally comes out. Um, something like yeah. that. We, we don't actually start over, though. We've never started over. No. no this, yeah. Well, this this episode, we had the uh, Skype cut out, so... Yeah, Skype cut out this episode. But we didn't start over. No. Next email is from Mars, uh, according to the page... Really? About, yeah, to, from the planet Mars. So. <laughs> My God! So this according is, to this the, is big! So according to the About page, Chris was a drug lord. Chris, can you tell us a story <laughs> from that? Uh, my days back in Greece. Yeah. Oh, those are those are my dark days. Those are my dark days. Oh. I was uh, I was probably Is in really? charge of about fifty, sixty people. Yeah. Uh, they were my drug runners. I had seventeen prostitutes. Yeah. And uh, I lived in a pretty good, pretty good mansion, and you were living it was a pretty good life. You were living the life. <laughs> I was living the life. Now I, uh, I live in Florida, and uh, <laughs> I work at the space center for another week, and then uh, I do YouTube stuff now. Yeah. Uh, that was a, that was a life though. Also, Jason, yeah. you make exciting types of linoleum. Can you tell us some of those? No, they're not. It's not really exciting. That was that was. I was joking about uh, about how exciting they are. The linoleum I make are not not exciting at all. They're, they're, it's kind of dull. That's why I don't talk about it. I'm a linoleum <laughs> floor manufacturer. Uh, it says uh, I would very also boring. <laughs> I would ask boring guy. I would ask questions for, about Robert, but I don't want to know about his experience with being naked and covered in swan fat. <laughs> you don't, because I'd love to talk about it. <laughs> in fact, aren't you naked and covered in swan fat right now? No. <laughs> no. That's our Robert. Last email we have is from Andrea. Uh, she says, uh, hi, guys. Hi, Andrea. Okay, so here's my question. I've been wondering, <laughs> how did you all meet? I'm sure I'm not the only one, uh, so maybe you could give us listeners a little bit of a backstory. Anyway, thanks for reading and considering my question. Uh, P.S. Love all your work. I wish that I could think of something more profound to say, but that's all I've got. Thanks again. You really let us guys. down, Andrea. <laughs> <laughs> you really let us down. How did we well, meet? Well, Jason, I, I met you about, uh, what, 25 years ago? I'm 26. So. Uh, that, I bet you, t well, 26 years ago then. Yeah. yeah, so you guys have known each other for a long time. Yeah, Chris is my cousin, yeah. so. I met Jason uh, I met Jason about uh, about eight eight years ago when I was 15 on Newgrounds.com. I was, I was he, trolling for young boys. Yeah. Jason was trying to pick up people in an old ice cream truck. Yeah, we met online. It's a, it's a cute <laughs> story, actually. And then we met IRL last year, finally. Yeah. It's kind of crazy how long it took us to finally meet each other. Yeah, it is kind of crazy. 7 years. It was 7 years and you guys did a you guys just you guys did a lot of work together within yeah. that 7 years talked to each other and then finally you met in real life. What yeah, was the we one thing? Started out with the, the phone and then texting. Was there was there something that surprised you when you guys met? Like was there that something Jason, that you Jason's thought? a dude. <laughs> <laughs> that was a surprise for me too. No, I thought Jason was going to be like eight feet tall, but he's actually he's actually average height. Yeah, we're like we're like the same height. You know, it's funny, Robert, because I thought you were going to be taller when I when I first met you last year. Everybody says that. Everybody thinks I'm going to be taller. That's what that's that's the one thing fans always say. Like, ah, I thought you were going to be taller. Well, see, it's, also, it's probably because you're tall and lanky, except without the tall part. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just lanky. And like with you, Jason, yeah, people, you, have, you have big feet and big hands, but uh, people are also surprised at how skinny I am in real life. I'm a yeah, very you, are, you are pretty skinny. I'm a very skinny guy. Not Nickasaurus skinny. I'm not scary no. skinny. Well, see, not no, only regular. Not only you're skinny, but you also wear like really tight clothing. <laughs> very tight clothing. Yeah, stuff I like that, that makes me uncomfortable when I look at it. What do you yeah. wear? It's it's extra small. Is that, is that your size? Yeah, that's the size shirts that I wear. How do your How do your balls breathe, Robert? <laughs> they don't. That's how I like it. <laughs> it's a good feeling, like when you take your pants off at the end of the day. Yeah, like, I, see, ah. I get that. I get that feeling all day long because I'm very comfortable. I'm comfortable too. I like my clothes to be very like tight fit. Tight fitting. I don't, <laughs> I don't like that. In here. I don't. I don't. <laughs> How much longer do we have? <laughs> we're, we're done. I think. I think we can end this. We've we've recorded for too long. We but we got through all long? the emails. We we had a bunch because uh, we were off. Uh, we didn't read any emails last week. Well, uh, it's been an inter interesting show, guys. <laughs> Go lay down, Jason. I think this is probably our best show. I think I need to take some Dayquil every time we record. Does I think it? we should we should all take Dayquil every time. Well, you guys take Dayquil. I think I'll stick with beer. 
Robert, Robert's a I'll, I'll enjoy myself. I'm not going to put Chris is medication. A guy. I'm a traditional guy. I like a good old cold beer. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to stick medication in my body. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, what a terrible show. I think, I think this uh, is a great show. I think this is Chaos my, Pony my sucks. favorite episode yet. <laughs> And Jason will listen to it tomorrow and he'll be like, oh, shit. <laughs> chaos, chaos Bunny sucks. I'm going to listen to it. Well, uh, this has been illuminating, much like the yeah. eyes of the ocelot. I think it's been more enjoyable for you than anybody else, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I'm going to I'm gonna order some food, take some more day yeah. kill, and uh, I'm gonna talk get, to I'm gonna Ocelot's alive. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to give I'm me gonna some pizza. I'm going to find every video I can yeah. of Ocelot's and just watch them all night. <laughs> Jason's gonna be curled up on his couch with his pajamas and a blanket with ice cream, watching Ocelot movies. I'm gonna, I take, that right I'm gonna now. take Day Quill into the Ocelot's pop out of the screen. <laughs> He'll be sitting in his ball chair. <laughs> He's sitting there playing with invisible Ocelots. Ocelots. Ha! Gosh! You get me. Everything's a Disney reference for you. <laughs> Just because I love, I love uh, Disney almost as much as I love Ocelot. Bye, I everybody. I might love Disney a little bit more. Yeah, we should be. Bye. This. This, is, this is getting absurd. <laughs> this is getting very extremely absurd. Bye, right, guys. Well, we will, we will see you next week. I'm, I'm waving Until at the microphone. Next week. I'm not waving at the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> You're stupid. It's not a video podcast. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye. See you next week. Bye. You've been listening to Chaos Pony, the official podcast of the Order of the Pony. You can write to us at orderoftheponey at gmail.com. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's going on? I think we lost uh, Jason. <laughs> We're still recording, too. <laughs> well... So, uh, I will take over. I will take over control of the show. Hold on. Let me. Uh, I'll I think, end, I'll I think end Jason. The call. Uh, I think Jason passed out from all the uh, the day cool he's been drinking. Yeah, I think so. I'm going to end the call and recall. All right. All right. Cock. Cock. Hey,